East. Alan Butt beating Ferguson to the ball. Philip in forward. Here's Lambert. Coins dummy. No on it. Coin to me. Fearlessness. Ryan Gus going to take possession. Ryan gets back. There's no foul. This is Dolan. Brown goes on it. Tackled well by Petric. There's no complaint about that on it. Gus going. Craig Moore, but McCune gets there first. There's no one ahead of him, though. Well, more live football coming up on Sky Sports exclusive. Norway against England live Wednesday next week. McLaren had to hurry. Well, there's signs of complacency creeping in in the Rangers ranks. Yeah, well, it was a good saving tackle and he ended up a good saving clearance by Alan McLaren there to uh, Rangers just really, just, they are getting a bit complacent, they are getting a little bit uh, uh, nonchalant and uh, a little bit arrogant with their passing and things like this, so they have to try and string two or three more passes together as they have been doing so uh, effectively earlier. Julie De Quellen is well forward again. Back it comes to Mikhalichenko. Over the far side is Moore, that's for Goff. Pitch to Gascoigne. Bad pitch again. Martin and near the head of McCoist. Bad pitch once more. Well, a full stretch there, Rob McKinnon. They just enough to play that back to Martin. Well, a lot of was showing they can put places together also at the back. Pitch underneath that, it's McLaren. Foul by Mick Skimming. Was it? No, but a free indicating advantage has been applied. And Rangers still in possession. Came off Martin. Palm was there for Scott Harry. Not a typical Premier Division match by any means, Jerry. No, like I say, the, the, the actual system seems to have uh, changed. It seems to have uh, swung around the tactics and the, the attitude of people to say, well, let's, let's play football here and let's, let's go and give it a go. And this is the system that we're going to play. Let's go out and enjoy it and knock passes together. Jury tackled by Lambert. Here's McKinnon. But again, coin has come deep. Arnott through the middle on his own at the moment. Surrounded by Rangers defenders. Dolan has found space. Now coin. Lambert took up good position. There's McKinnon, he has mixed skimming outside him. That's why Coist has backed off. That's Philibin. Now Lambert. It's going again in ball, but tackled last minute there by Petric. Kalichenko's pass is very accurate. McCoist. Ferguson to Mikalichenko. Cleland racing forward on the left. Good cross. There's Mikalichenko. Slightly mistimed the header. An excellent chance again for Rangers. Lovely play again. Superb ball by Alec Clellan. Pull back behind the defenders. Mikhailichenko will be disappointed. Got everything behind it, but straight to Scott Harvey. If he had to either side, it could have been dangerous for Motherwell. But uh, Motherwell was their best passing movement of the game. Well robbed by Gordon Petridge. And away went Rangers. But uh, these sides, both sides trying to play football. These sides, both sides trying to put the, uh, pass the ball on the ground and uh, create chances. And uh, I think Rangers will be, will be obviously the more pleased of the two because they have converted one of those chances. There's Eddie May. On it. Well, Rob by McLaren, very solid, calm defending. Cross with Craig Moore, the youngest player in the field at 19. Ian Ferguson. Now Petrich. 
Gascoigne. Fergus in space. The marking really midfield by Motherwell, not very tight. Ambitious, long range, but worth the effort. Scott Harry in just the right place for Motherwell. Pauline Ferguson does pack a good punch in his right foot, and uh, here he comes in just inside now. Was going to play the ball to the left, but uh, a shot straight down Scott Harry's throat. But uh, when he can hit them, he hits them well, hits them on target. Very strong play by Petric. Ferguson forced to hurry there by the attentions of Dolan. In the final minute of the first half. Oh, well, Rangers are very happy to have that one goal lead. Motherwell may, in fact, reflect on the fact that they're still in the match, despite watching Rangers have so much possession in the first half, say. Well, it's, it's similar in a way to the Celtic game uh, on Saturday, with the Rangers around the course for so much of the game, yet to uh, score just before the interval to go in 1 0 up. And uh, Motherwell, although they'll go in 1 0 down, possibly. I still feel that they've got a chance to get back into the game. The Rangers, at, at times, when they are attacking, do leave themselves... It's a foul that they, they do leave themselves wide open at the back because they do leave themselves two-on-two two with uh, Gordon Petrus down the right-hand side and Alan McLaren down the left-hand side, very, very willing to join in with the attack. So uh, I'm sure that um, that hasn't gone unnoticed by the McLeish. He'll be saying, get that ball alongside uh, Tommy Coyne, get that ball alongside Dougie Garner, and you've got a chance two-on-two, two, just like when Rangers scored their second goal, Paul Gascoigne scored his first goal on Saturday against Celtics. There's Gas going again, he's acquired a spell in the match. Demonstrating some amazing talks in the other part of the first half. He is again. And McLaren. Up to hurry there. Karachenko. Ferguson. Golf staying well forward. There's Ferguson again. Golf to Quill. And now Ferguson, a good build up one score. There's Ferguson. Looking there into the box for Gascoigne. And that brings the first half to a close. Paul Gascoigne is the player who's made the big difference with that goal in 12 minutes. A bit of luck to allow him to take possession inside this 18-yard box, but then swooping in on Scott Howey to give Rangers the lead, which their overall play in the first half just about deserves. Some excellent football overall, but Rangers with a precious half-time lead by one goal to nil. First half, only the one goal in it, that goal coming from Gascoigne in 11 minutes. Rangers have had seven attempts at goal against Motherwell's three. Three have been on target, Motherwell have had two on target, only three corners in the match. Two to Rangers, one to Motherwell. Very even as far as fouls are concerned, eight against Rangers, nine against Motherwell. No offsides, a booking a piece and nobody's sent off. And there's how possession goes, Rangers slightly more on the attack, perhaps playing the more delicate football. A lot of it in midfield, but pretty stuff to watch. Well, let's see if the guests concur with that. First of all, Craig Brown, the Scotland manager. A good open game of football. football. Yes, I think so. A very significant statistic there. No offsides. Yeah. It tells you it's an open, long game. And I think maybe Moral are keeping possession very, very well, but too much in their own half, you know, very deep possession. But we must credit them for still trying to play football, although they're up against it. And I would agree that Rangers deserve to be ahead, and they've had the better chances. They've been more incisive. But don't count out Motherwell, because we do get on that might get into that box and get one on target. The surprising thing that I were watching in the studio was Motherwell sometimes had the better chances. They, they did seem to catch the Rangers' defence on the back foot sometimes. Yes, I think hitting them on the break, I think in, in, this, uh, in this game and in, in a lot of games this season, it's been, the game's been so spread out that uh, players are running forward, getting in the box like Rangers were, and then Motherwell hitting them on the break. And it was a good ball knocked through for Dougie Arnett, who, and, and Petrich just got back. In, in time uh, and put it out for a corner. Otherwise, if, if he was a little bit better on his touch, first touch, he, I think he would have uh, most probably scored. Well, it's that man Gascoigne who did break the deadlock. I must say there only was one of us who predicted it. it wasn't you two. <laughs> <laughs> Ten to one with the odds. Wish I'd have pound on it, but he really was quick here, Craig. That's the thing. Yeah. He was quick with his feet. His, his feet were very quick, yes. And to hit it quickly with the outside of the foot took uh, Scott Howey by surprise. Scott Howey did well, but as I say, Terry correctly said, when it's down about your feet from a close distance there, Hard to save it. So, no, an unlucky one for Eddie May, but very good play from Gascoigne. Outstanding play. I think that's been a significant thing, is when, when Gaz has had the ball at his feet around the area and came through, there was another move with Mikhailichenko, yeah. and nobody wants to touch him. Exactly. You know, his feet are very quick, and they don't want to touch him in, in that instance. Uh, McCoy doesn't like being left out. He hit the side netting shortly after that, and uh, he's looked pretty sharp, but uh, this was perhaps the best chance he had, Craig. 
Yeah, we think maybe, you know, he'll think he could have done a bit better, I'm sure, at least bring out a save in Scott Howe. We want to put a ball from there across the goalkeeper, so that if he parries it, we've got a rebound chance. So I think Ali would hope to have hit the target from that, that distance. Good play by Gordon Jury, excellent play by Alexei there, and a good shot, but uh, across the goalkeeper would have been better. We encourage him to play it across. John Philippin was having a couple of pot shots there. Uh, one of his shots, about 20 minutes, brought out a good save in Andy yeah, Gorham. Yeah, great save. In fact, uh, Andy Gorham kept Rangers in the game at that point because Motherwell around the middle of the half had a couple of chances. The one that Nigel's mentioned, plus that shot. And had they got back in then, I think it might have been different. But Andy Gorham, magnificent as usual. Alex Cleland is filling in for Davy Robertson just now, doing a good job supplying balls. Yes, I think he's playing very well and he's quick as well. He, he recovers well and gets back in times up. But this is a great ball in yeah, here and, yeah. and I think anybody other than Ali might have uh, got his head on it. Mark Hately was about eight inches bigger than Ali. He could have got there, couldn't he? <laughs> exactly. Well, I think he would have done, yeah. But I think Ali would be disappointed that he didn't get, at least get that on target. You know, a man of his uh, standings. I think uh, he mm -hmm. would hope to have got that on target there. Yeah, we got a later one when uh, Alexei Mihailichenko had the same type of header. He actually got too much on it and it hit the ground. So, yeah. again, a good ball, I think, from Alec Cleland. Yeah, good crossing. Is there a right. way back from Motherwell in the second half? Well, I think if Rangers go out with an incisive start to, uh, and get another goal, there would be no way back. But as long as the game stays at one nothing, there's always a chance. And Motherwell play football. They will not resort to punting it up the field. Now, great credit to Alec McLeish and Andy Watson. They play. And I think it's a good advert for Scottish football. I'm delighted to see the ball being passed and... It gives a good impression, I think, of our game in Scotland. I think yeah. Craig Nigel, in the meantime, thanks very much indeed. We're going to look at the second half, of course, live after the break uh, in Glasgow, where the league champions lead the contenders one goal to nil. That's the big match in Scotland tonight. There are many in England. Let's look at the latest in the Coca-Cola Cup. Various kick-off times. Let's just go straight down the list. It's Arsenal 3, Hartlepool 0, Barnsley 1, Huddersfield 0. Bournemouth nil, Watford nil, Brentford one, Bolton Wanderers nil, Burnley nil, Leicester nil. Berry three, Sheffield United nil, Charlton one, Wimbledon two, Crystal Palace one, Southend nil, Fulham nil, Wolverhampton one, Grimsby nil, Birmingham nil. Ipswich one, Stockport nil, Notts County one, Leeds United one, Peterborough one, Aston Villa nil, QPR nil, Oxford United one, Rotherham nil, Middlesbrough one. And West Brom 1, Reading 2, the one everybody's waiting for. So far, it's York City 1, Manchester United 2. Not enough for Manchester United so far. Well, of course, in Scotland, all eyes have been on Rangers against Motherwell. That man, Paul Gascoigne, has made the difference in the first half. He took the first and the only chance to come to him. It came in 11 minutes, a through ball. He moved it from one foot to the other, snapped the shot past Howie. And that was Rangers in the lead. It's the only goal separating the two sides. But if there are others, we'll hear in the second half from Terry Butcher and Jock Brown. Thank you, Bill. Yes, the Motherwell side out on the pitch already. There's been no change made. Alec McLeish coming out. I reckon the, he may well have given his players something of a roasting in that half-time pep talk. Motherwell supporters looking on. Now I think more in hope, Terry, than expectation. Yes, I think so. Apart from that young gentleman that was uh, yawning there, the play has been quite scintillating. Uh, Motherwell really haven't had much of the ball. And uh, I just... Just a little bit concerned with range at the back. They do leave themselves a little bit wide open when they're attacking a, a 2v2 situation. And uh, Dougie Arna, he just relishes scoring against the old firm. And, uh, you know, that, that's the man that's been running the show, Paul Gascon. He'll be saying, Alec McLeish to his side, get hold of Gascon a bit more, try and stop him playing, and get our game going as well. So the Rangers clears him out. Charlie McCoy is coming out at the end there. Relaxed, clearly. And finalising his refreshments. Well, that's officials at the back here, referee Jim McGillivray. A couple of bookings in that first half, one for Richard Goff, one for Jamie Dolan. So the overreaction in just a second as the Rangers players reappear. Another lengthy delay between since the model side arrived on the pitch. No change in either lineup. And interesting to see there's not a defender on the bench, Terry. No, I think this is an indication of uh, how open this game is and uh, how much both managers and both sides want to play football. But uh, you never know with Motherwell being on the pitch so earlier, but, uh, so much earlier than Rangers, that Alan McLeish just said, after Howell, get out there and uh, make sure you get hold of the ball early. And uh, it's a bit of a punishment for his player. Sometimes I've done that as a manager and other managers have done it to me as well. You know, he'd be disappointed that Motherwell haven't had more efforts on goal and more chances. Well, referee Jim McGilvery is satisfied and Rangers start the second half. It will be interesting to see what changes may have been made by either side in their approach to the game and uh, tactical system. Here's Craig Moore. 
Wide on the right. Very promising player. Space again for Mikhalichenko, and that's been a problem for Muller with the space Mikhalichenko has been able to find in the match so far. It's Brian Martin. Brian doing a very good marking job generally on Dougie Harnett when he's in that area. Flash of heads there, the two players felt that. The has checked carefully, there's no lasting damage to either man, and the throw can be taken. There's Richard Goff. That's going astray again. Brian Martin to tidy up, back with Chris McCart. Put on the pressure there by McCoy. Well timed on McLaren. Now, Dolan wants to get the ball down. Good running by Coyne. He's away in behind McLaren. And Richard Goff forced there to concede the corner kick. There's excellent movement up front from Coyne and Arnott. That'll be troublesome at every stage of the match. Referee's attention being drawn to Alan McLaren there by Richard Goff. In view of that head knock, he took him on to two go. McLaren says he's all right. McKinnon's corner. Won very well in the near post by Moore. Kalachenko to McCoist. Kalachenko again. Very difficult to dispossess when he has the ball his feet. Here's Petrich. McLaren in the right back position. Moore has switched in the middle for the moment. It'll be temporary, I'm sure. It's one for Julie to chase. Philippin will get there first. And a stumble there by Philippin, giving Julie a chance to set up an attack here for Rangers. It's a good outswing cross. Just out of reach for McCoy. And turned away for the corner by Martin. Fine play by Julie. This is what Gordon Dewey does best, chasing balls down the flanks. Get hold of the ball now, takes on John Philippin. Has a look in the middle to see if there's anybody there. Just takes him inside. Whack! There goes the ball across the face of the goal. And Brian Martin just gets in ahead of Annie McCoy to concede the corner. Good defending on the far post. Good play by Gordon Dewey to get the ball in in the first place. Treacherous for the goalkeeper. Totally treacherous. He couldn't risk coming up his line too early for that. There's Gascoigne's cross. Made it away firmly by Coyne back in the box. Gascoigne again, faced by Tommy Coyne. Well, Gascoigne certainly appears to be enjoying himself this evening. Galachenko back to Quillens. Interception there was by Dolan. Well, he couldn't do much with that in the bottom of the touch line. It's back here with Roland Petrich. Moore free on the right. McKinnon concedes the corner. Well, Craig Moore, a central defender by nature, I think, Terry, but proving to be a very able deputy by Stephen Wright at right back. Well, it's not so much right back, really, as uh, one of his wing back or right midfield uh, roles that, uh, that Craig Moore has had to uh, come into the side and take over, but uh, he's playing very well. That's going again with the outswinger. Well met by McSkimming. Got off there looking for Gascoigne, but it's straight to the chest of Tommy Coyne. One being made by McSkimming, picked out almost there by Coyne. Lambert forward, very good defending by McLaren. And again, Judy can use his pace and run at the Motherwell defence. He has Mikalichenko to the left, McCoy to the right. Doesn't need any of them. Good effort by Judy. Well, fairly quiet and for long spells in the first half. But he really has burst to life since the half-time interval. Yeah, it's a really positive run by Gwinder. He comes inside, Chris McCart unleashes the right foot shot. I think he troubled the cameraman more than it troubled Scott Harry, but uh, just about uh, five or six yards off the target. But yeah, that's a very positive start by Gordon Dury. That's Rob McKinnon. But holding there, Petrich holding the jersey of Coyne. He's been spotted. The look of innocence there. <laughs> Not impressing Jim McGillery, the referee. Tommy Coyne clearly held. He's got that innocent face, Gordon Petrich, isn't he? So he always asked the referee, why did, 
for who to give a foul against me, but uh, definitely a foul that time. Well spotted by Jim McGilvery. There's McKinnon with the weighted free kick. Attack from Sadie Lydia there by Chris McCart. Free kick's been given though for the Hollywood captain's challenge. Good deep cross to the far post and Gordon Pettit underneath it, but Chris McCart just leaning on there. Just see the left arm go up and uh, the referee had no alternative but to give a free kick, but Andy Gorman collected it just the same, but uh, definitely a free kick there. Headed away by Philemon, that's Lambert. Oh, Martin, hustled by McCoy. Shows his willingness to do some glamorous work up front. That's a method of his improving sharpness and fitness. There he goes again. This time it's read by May. Dolan back to me. Here's Brian Martin. His first cap at the age of 31. About two years old now. And this is Chris McCart. Well, the Motherwell style of play. Very similar to that of Rangers. Worse than the quality of passing. That's what really will make all the difference. Good run by McSkimming. And a header. by Sean Miskimming, right into the corner. Andy Gorham really just no spring there to try and get off the ground. Paul Lambert sending a long ball forward. Moore beaten well by Miskimming and Andy Gorham just that vital couple of yards off his line. I think that's a good play by uh, Alan McLeish though because he's doing to, to Rangers what uh, Alexander Mikhailichinko was told to do um, for the Ibrox team because he was, he was pushed further forward. Sean Miskimming's been pushed further forward and obviously that's resulted in the equaliser. Yes, that's going. Tackled by McCarth, it breaks for Moore. Right here with Petrich, here's Craig Moore again. Shown inside by McSkimming, that's interesting. Made instead by Lambert. Moore again, under severe pressure. The attacker came from McSkimming. Well, I reckon Don Craig Moore will be disappointed, I'm sure, about not being able to win that high ball against McSkimming. A bit disappointed as well because it was a long looping header, not a real powerful header, but uh, just dipped underneath the crossbar. And Andy Gorham will be disappointed as well to, to concede that one long 50 yard ball. Pitch plays it in. Golf challenges well. Scott Murray comes to claim, and Gordon Judy collides with him. But if he's given a free kick and he's going to have a word with Judy, I think he was in there to just ruffle the goalkeeper. Set him a bit. to Gordon Judy, Sean McSkimming is followed back in the match. McKinnon, no option but to return the pass to Philemon. Well, really a crazy pass that by Philemon to Scott Howey. Well, he have survived. Howey did well in the end. And this goal, pressurised by Coyne. Much better pressure play by Motherwell now in the middle of the field, giving Rangers much less time. That seemed to be upsetting Alec McLeish in the first half, the way Rangers really were able to showboat through the midfield. Here's Clellan, Marla Karachenko, pressure is on again, Golan making a tackle, it's back with Gascoigne. McCoy holding it up. Fergus does more on the right. Skimming back to Harry. Well, we're showing a lot of confidence in the young goalkeeper. I'm not too sure of his confidence, but he's done very well to uh, respond and uh, clear his, uh, his lines from some really dodgy back Well, let's see this goal again. A huge ball played forward by Paul Lambert. Look at the run made by Mick Skimming in behind the central defence. Not much properly by Moore. And Gordon couldn't get there. 
for Sean McSkimming, getting his second goal of the season only. So, there's a free kick here to Rangers. That's going over the ball, and Richard Goff making his way into the area. Good to the target, all right, it's a good driven ball. Ideal for forwards, that. It was deflected. McCoy's challenged well in the air. A very good whipped-in free kick. Good challenge by Alan McCoy's can't quite keep his header down under. Good pressure once again by Brian Martin, who for me is having a great game at the heart of that Motherwell defence. 